Look at that. Look at that. I've got a haircut. <laughs> I've missed seeing my scalp. It's just so much more breathable now and yes. So now I uh, remember that I said I was gonna do some sort of kind of, you know, maybe get the best badges of stuff. Well, look at that. There's one missing there, two missing there, three missing there, and six missing on, of course, the mushroom course. So that is what I'm gonna start doing here this part. On top of checking out the places that might have different dialogue, because remember now that we're the grand champion and all whatnot they have they might have different dialogue at certain parts of it but for now I am just going to go flop over at hole 10 and chances are what I'm gonna be doing is just giving up on every hole just, <laughs> just to speed it along and not really save the score because it's you know it just speeds things along for the whole the whole recording session it makes file sizes shorter but here's something odd here no giving up on the first shots Ever so, this is what I'm probably gonna be doing. <laughs> Something like that until we get over to hole 10 and you know, just kind of let the ball do its thing there. Stop rolling there, I just want to speed this up here. And now we can give up. There we go, and then as I said, you'll get triple power for the hole. So I'll, <laughs> I'll see you over at hole 10. All right, I've shot 72 over par through nine holes, and <laughs> here we are at hole 10. Now, why didn't I birdie this one before? I don't know, it's not that hard of a hole. Just, uh, let's just try and get past all trees here and see with the power of topspin how that will turn out. See, because the extra drive distance here, I can now sort of kind of flip-flop my ball through quite a lot of obstacles. Oh, I don't want to be on the slopey slope though. Well, yeah, best drive, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, here we go, I'm gonna plop it right on... Well, actually, maybe I'll do a little bit of a lower trajectory here so I can, so I can control the spin. Uh, something like that, I think, and... There we go. By the way, if I should ever fail on one of these, I'm just gonna do the save and quit trick just to speed things along as well. As I said, this is mainly for demonstration purposes to show you how I can birdie or eagle or whatever these holes, basically. So there we go! The only birdie on the card. <laughs> so now what we can do here is just quit on the tourney thusly and they'll be like, Ah, oh, man, you weren't able to win it. I didn't even try it. <laughs> and Ella acts like, yeah, I'm, I'm so sad I didn't even try, even though I did it on purpose. <laughs> So, yeah, it's kind of weird, though. You're technically entered as a guest on the tournament, so you never actually lose your title. <laughs> That's how they make sure the story just keeps progressing. Hey, you're really entering the dunes since you won the Palms tourney, but you gotta be worried. The dunes is really, you know, difficult. The regular Palms player has ever done well at the dunes. Okay, so I guess that was different. Um... Yeah, I, I guess, sort of, kind of. As I said, it's not about the power. <laughs> As you've seen me do many times over. Uh, you're just going to tell me to do a practice round. Nah, that's what I thought. Just thought I would see if there was something else there. And, uh, well, really no. Really no. you seen, you seen me get a... you probably seen me get a ridiculous score at the Marion Club. Many adults. <laughs> All right, so uh, one more over here, and mm, well, I'm as active as I can be, but I'm making a walkthrough of all sorts of different parts of the game. <laughs> all right, let's flop over here now and see what peeps. Uh, yeah, I knew that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yep. 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 Uh, um, <laughs> okay, that is different dialogue than what we've seen before, I guess. Aren't you the pro guy? Uh, uh, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the pro guy, so he won't have different dialogue in the side routes. Uh, along with their side quests are all cleared out of peeps, as you know, so... N nothing really to go over there for. Uh, there's pro man. Mm, yeah, same dialogue. Uh, how about, how about not? <laughs> Alright, yes, yes, yes. So yeah, basically I'm just checking over stuff. You aren't the pro one. Yeah, oh, dang it, you're the pro guy. <laughs> I couldn't tell if you had sunglasses because you were turned away. That's your plan, isn't it? So people talk to you and they want to see extra game dialogue. <laughs> so yeah, it's not really, not really any more dialogue going on here. So okay, 
Now what I'm gonna do is flop on over to the Dunes Club and uh, tackle the holes that are over there. And I've also written down the stuff off camera that I need to do for each hole, so it'll... Yeah, I'll just be speeding things along using ye ol hit one quick shot, then give up the whole method. <laughs> and you can really get through a round quickly that way. If only you could do that in speed golf. If only. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you at the holes. Conveniently, the first one is hole number two. Not so conveniently, hole 17 is on this. <laughs> so, we'll see how this turns out. So this is why I would like to do the save and quit method if at all uh, is necessary because just imagine me having to, you know, just replay the tournament all the way from the starts just to replay a single hole for demonstration purposes. That, that doesn't seem like a very good idea, do you think? I mean, granted, I could be also doing this in the practice mode as well, but I, you don't get the best badges if you're in the practice mode, so <laughs> I just kind of kind of want to see what it looks like on the, you know, the full, filled up board there. And there we go, I've landed the ball past the hole and pulled it back with backspin. You know that tactic, it's successful, it works, there's a birdie. <sighs> see you at hole 17. <laughs> Hey, look at this, watch this, watch this, I found something faster. Instead of doing just mashing A to hit auto swing, watch this, A, B, A! <laughs> and you don't have to worry about it going on the auto swing portion of the area, you just, you just hit. <laughs> Alright, so, I am 117 over par, there isn't even a plus next to it. There's 16 holes, here we are at hole 17. And why didn't I birdie this one? It's a par 5. This is like... Easy Eagle from... Like, I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll see, I guess. I mean, I probably birdied it in some of the other modes. But I guess I just didn't birdie it. I hit a cactus, but whatever. I got the trajectory to get over the cactus on the other side. Yeah, there, so... <laughs> That's the power of having high trajectory. And let's get this to stop next to the hole, preferably. Nice high spot, nice high shot that'll hit the slope and bounce down to the hole. Oh, it didn't hit the slope. Guess the wind pulled it back a little bit. That's okay. I get a two putt for a best badge. And I don't even need that. <laughs> so here's what my card looks like. Oh, yes. <laughs> By the way, the uh, I got it written down here. The, the best score that you can... I mean, the worst score that you can possibly get is 144 over par on these regular courses and uh, 54 over par on uh, the Elf Shore course because you know it's par, it's par 72 times three and par um, par 27 times three. I, yeah. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, that's that's wrong. I, oh shoot, I miscalculated. I was thinking 18 holes times three. Ah, but anyway, I gotta get out of here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll recalculate it between, uh, between my next cut, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just can't believe I didn't catch that before. Anyway, let's go on here. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, even though I didn't really win that last one, but whatever. <laughs> Complete, what the heck? Completely fearless Gonzo Golf? I've never heard of that before. I mean, maybe because I never... Went through all this dialogue before, perhaps practice round now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I didn't look at. I mean, I didn't talk to people at all points in the game, basically. So um, it's not that difficult, of course. So I don't think you have to be that brave at it. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Uh, please don't tell me. Okay, yeah, you're the pro guy. Come to think of it, I think you, he has the same sprite as the. Uh, that uh, other pro guy... Uh, yeah... Yeah... So look out for guys with that sprite if you don't wanna... Uh, yeah... <laughs> if you don't wanna be asked about a practice thing... Or, you know, side game type thing... So no special dialogue going on over here, that's the pro man... Uh, so no, not... no, no pro man... <laughs> and there's pro man, there you go... Yes, it is. It is incredibly super. And finally, of course, is Dahlia over here. Pretty sure I've seen that dialogue before. Alright, cutting over to the Lynx Club. Alright, as promised, I've gotten the calculation. 
of 108. As, <laughs> I should say 108 over par for the maximum score that you can get at the Elf Short Course. Alright, hole 3 is the first one that I have not gotten a badge on, as you've seen, so... Well, I'm sure I did it on other modes, as I said before, but not in attorney mode. Oh, no, 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 no. And no, I'm not gonna go for the doubles ones, because that's just a matter of hoping that your partner does what you want your partner to do, rather than it just being purely your skill. So, really, the only way to just do it is just to keep repeating holes until you get it. <laughs> Alright, there's the first one. I'll see you on hole number five. Here we are! So why didn't I... Oh, that's right, because the the loads of obstacles over here. Okay, so this might be the first one that I end up saving and quitting on. Who knows? Uh, but first, I'm gonna just try and, you know, power through everything here. <laughs> Hit the rougher um, Heath, that'll do just fine. Just don't go in the other Heath, please. Sitting on the fast fairway will be nice. There we go, and let's go and plop it to... Uh, I might want to do like a low running and then stop next to the hole sort of shot here. So I'm going to do that and see how this turns out. Hopefully this will have the right trajectory to do what I want it to do. Uh, it did it perfectly. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, let's get this birdie and get out of here. Unfortunately, though, the next one is hole number 13. You know, I can't believe that I miscalculated the, in my head so badly with the Elf Short Course over Parness. I feel just like that. <laughs> Alright, here we are at hole number 13. And I can drive the green. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. Oh, that must mean we're playing from the front tees on this. Because, yeah, it wouldn't be possible from the back. Oops, miss it. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really paying attention here, just kind of kind of hitting. And <laughs> look at that! <laughs> Even with the miss hit, it still went on the green because I have such great impact and control of my character's stats. And easy eagle. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Alright, 78 over par through 13. But we aren't saving that. <laughs> now for the final bits of dialogue that's around this part. Yes, 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 guess, guess. I'm gonna go wander around here and see what the peeps have to say. Uh, yeah, that, that's what they're talking about, the fast fairway. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> it can also put you in deep trouble, not just give you huge shots. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, I, I don't, you just gotta practice more. <laughs> it's fair, <laughs> I assure you. No, I figured you'd have the same dialogue, but I felt obligated to check anyway. Uh, I already talked to Kid post-game to get the uh, the special ticket from him. So, actually, did you, th you think he's got something else net to say now? Maybe he will. Uh, no, no, I guess not. Okay, you're not a teacher, you're a practicer. Uh, yeah, I know you do, especially when you're hitting out the fast fairway and you get into deep trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say avoiding deep trouble. Uh, and you are... Well, not, not you, I was going to say the one just below. Yes, yes, that same dialogue. Uh, no, you're the pro. That's what I thought. That's what I was going to say. You are, you are, but I just kept getting dialogue from the other person. I just kept getting ready to press down the... Oh no, no pro. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's what I was saying to the other one there, and... Well, I mean, at the other place, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see what's over here. There's Pro Man in blue hair. Yeah, I will practice there all I want, but not now. Yeah, you're a pro, right? Uh, yeah, no. Nah, no, no. <laughs> Alright, now that I cleared out these courses via the story status, as you've seen over here, I saved the uh, mushroom course because it's connected to the Marion Clubhouse, which is a lot of dialogue in on itself because there's a lot of people hanging around there. So, uh... Uh, whoa, 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 it come uh, whoa. <laughs> As you'll notice, there is no Elf Shore course once you go past the Mushroom course. It just takes you back over to here. So, there, there's no best badges to be grabbed there for whatever reason, but you've, I'm pretty sure you've seen me birdie every one of those holes. In any case, they're par threes. Just hit on the green and one putt is their strategy, but 
yeah, uh, what I'm gonna be doing here is just doing that stuff, you know, the Marion Club as well as the Mushroom Cup stud best badges, I guess you could say, whatever ones I get in the next part. So with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I go and whip out my best shots for those six holes. Well, that, or use the save and quit method. 